right now we need to go ahead and show the process flow of how to just place an order and how the delivery guy is going to get the order and then on each and every stage of the order how the changes are going to happen so first what i'm going to do i'm going to show you the initial the initial state of our delivery app so i'm logged in right now but what i can do to make this work i can just log out here so if i'm logged out there's nothing that's going to show and here it means that okay this person who's using the app is not a driver somehow so they can go ahead and register as a driver if they want but i'm just going to log in okay so i'm just going to place my credentials here and then we can proceed let's put the password okay like that so we're going to log in after we log in then here it's going to change and we're going to get back our orders if we go to our profile this is our profile so so far so good so what i'm going to do now is to just click on the order that we have here okay so we have an order that's ready for pickup so this order is coming from this is the name of the restaurant so pick order from burger king and this is the address where you're supposed to go so initially when an order is being placed then the courier will get the direction to the place where they're supposed to get the order okay so this is where they're supposed to get the order here we have approximate distance from their current location to where they're supposed to pick the order from and the time it takes and here it's for for the trip where when they get the order from the restaurant to this particular address which is the address of the client okay so this is the total distance but this is the distance from where they are to pick the order so our application changes by each stage when the order is picked let's take for example we go to picked okay we click on a different order so when an order is picked everything changes okay so the order is coming from burger king to the user's address this is a user address right so now it's from the current location of the delivery boy to the location of the of the user okay here we have our order number we have the distance time it takes to get to the particular destination and the total time and this is the address of the restaurant and here they have the ability to mark as delivered if they get to to the destination okay so particularly that's that's the whole flow so what i need to do is to go to to the client app create an order and then we can come and process the order in our in our delivery app our client app so the first thing that we need to do is to go ahead and sign in so i'm just going to use the same credentials it's supposed to be kings like that and put on the password the password is the same password 123 and log in after logging in if we go back to our profile now we can see the profile of the user the profile is a little bit different from from the profile that we see we saw on the other page so here our goal is to create an order okay so we can just come to to the food that's underneath here okay we can pick anything okay so we're going to pick this we add some chicken we add some lamb and here we're just going to go ahead and press order okay so particularly like i removed the payment systems because i want to make the the process a little bit faster so what i'm going to do i'm just going to proceed to pay so if you click on this probably your order should show up in your client unless you have like a, a payment system that you you have to to use to pay to to finish the process
but in this instance to make the process a little bit lighter we're just going to leave it like this okay so this order has been created so the next thing that we need to do we need to go back to our delivery app and then see whether we have a new order or not so now we have our new order so if you go to orders initially we had one order now we have two orders so we need to click okay so this is our order so the first thing that we need to do this one is coming from burger king let's see all of them they're coming from from burger king so let's use one so we want to pick up this order okay so we're going to click pick up so if the order is picked up then that order is going to be removed from this and it's going to go to picked up okay so this is our order here if we click on our order now everything changes this order is coming from burger king and it's going to this particular address and this is where we're supposed to to deliver the the order okay and we can just mark this order as as delivered okay so here let's mark it as delivered so if it is marked as delivered we have to go to delivered so this is the order that we just processed okay the one with zero zero here okay so if we click on it this is our order okay so this is the process flow of ordering and how the delivery boy is going to to get the order afterwards and then through from from getting the order to delivering okay so here what we can do the coordinates of this particular order are the same they are the same so we want to use something that's a little bit different so if we go to delivered we have this order here 65 655 okay zero c okay so what we're going to do we're going to go to our database we want to change that to to placed we want to process that order in our application then we can see the changes especially when it comes to directions how the directions are going to change because the order that we processed all the coordinates are the same so we won't see the difference when there is a change so in this one we are going to focus on how the coordinates are going to change from the restaurant let's say directions are going to change when an order is picked how it's going to change from the restaurant directions to the client's direction okay so we go to to orders so in orders we're looking for 65c the one with c at the end let's see whether we can find one this is the one that we just processed but we're looking for something different we're looking for this one okay so order status we're going to change it here to to placed okay and we need to update our database after updating we go back to our application to so here now we do have that order here okay so this is 0 0.45 so it's a little bit different and even here it's 0 0.64 so this is to distance to the restaurant and this is distance to to the client okay so we need to just click on it oh it's delivered we're on delivered so we need to refresh the application somehow so let's go back to to our delivery boy so we're going to
let's go ahead and refresh okay so here we do have our order here so if we click this these are the directions to to the restaurant okay so if you take a look the directions pick up the order from la pizarre la pizarre Italy. Yeah, i don't know how to pronounce that but that's that's the place that we are picking up so if you pick up the order then the order is going to come to to picked after picked if we take a look at the same order now this is the directions to where the order is supposed to be delivered to okay so these are the changes that the delivered boy will see if they pick up an order then they will get the directions to the client if that order is not picked the directions they are going to get are the directions to the place where they're supposed to pick up the order okay mark is delivered and that order will be transferred to to delivered this is the order that we have here okay so that's the whole process flow.